stinky, but you have to share. And that was terrible. I don't think that boy will want to come over and play ever again. What's that? You don't like him touching your things. Yes, well, you might, but you have to share. Oh, it's the Poppets. Hello, my little Poppets, mums and dads. And welcome back to story time once again. And Happy New Year. Because, of course, tomorrow is the very first day of 2018. Yes, yeah, so very, very exciting. The last day today of 2017, isn't it, Sneaky? Yes, what's that? Well, there'll be fireworks. Well, there might be fireworks. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, Stinky and I have had a very busy morning. Stinky has had a friend over to play. And I'm sorry to say that Stinky would not share any of his toys. That's right, his favourite toy here is a Ninja Turtle. He loves this Ninja Turtle. But when the little boy came over to play, what's that? You don't want me to tell the Poppets? Well, I'm going to tell the Poppets, Stinky. Stinky would not share any of his toys. It did not matter what the boy wanted to play with. Stinky would say, no, 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 not that toy. That's my favourite toy. You can't touch that one. And don't touch that one because you're messing up my display. Yes, well, Stinky, that's very, very naughty. And that poor little boy, dear, what's that? Mitchell, yes, his name was Mitchell. Yes, it was. But I don't think Mitchell will want to come back and play with you if you don't learn to share. Oh, it's no good hiding. No, you have to share and you have a lot more fun, Stinky, if you share. Yes, what's that? I'm waffling on again. Yes, I suppose I am. Well, we'll put hold of Mr. Ninja Turtle, Leonardo, I think he is. We'll pop him over there and I suppose we should crack on with today's story. Yes, and you think about what I said. It's very important, Stinky, to share. Oh, yes, I don't like it when you pull that face. Well, my dear, dear poppets, today's story is called Do Not Open This Book by Andy Lee. And this does look like a very interesting one, I have to say. I'm quite looking forward to reading this one. It looks quite different. Yes, with a very funny looking character there on the front cover. I wonder if he's like Stinky. I wonder if this fellow shares. I don't know. Let's hope that he does. And here we go, my dear poppers. Oh, you opened the book. I assume that was an accident, Stinky. No problem, accidents happen. I'm not even angry. Just please don't turn the page. Oh, he's giving instructions, my dear Poppets. He doesn't want old Mrs. Wiffle Waffle to turn the page. I wonder why that is. He said, no, nope, do not turn this page. Well, I wonder what's going to happen when I do. Yes, I'm going to turn the page anyway, even though he's telling me not to. What the heck? You turned the page. Did you hear me? Okay. I'll put it down to a simple misunderstanding, Stinky, but I'll say it once more, very clearly. Please don't turn the page, Stinky. And there he is there, the funny blue creature there, and he is quite, he feels quite strongly about it. And he is saying, do not turn this page. And I can't help but wonder why. But you know what, my dear Poppets? I am going to turn the page. Even though he doesn't want me to, I'm going to turn it. What are you doing? I just told you not to turn it. You definitely heard me. Yes, I did. Look, I was very reasonable when you opened the book, but this is too much. Whatever you do, please don't. What's that? Don't turn the page. That's right, Stinky. Don't turn the page. And now this blue creature, this blue monster, or whatever he is, is getting quite angry about it, and he is screaming, do not turn this page. But I'm afraid we have to, and we're going to find out what happens in the story. You did it again. Are you mad? Yes, I am quite mad, actually. Are you not thinking straight? You're now in danger. I am telling you as a friend that you, are, that you definitely don't want to see what's on the next page. A young boy saw it once and his hair turned white with fear. Whatever you do, please don't turn the page. Well, there he is there and apparently a little boy turned the page and his hair went white with fear. Goodness gracious, I wonder what on earth was on that page. 
which gave this boy such a fright, my dear Poppets, that his hair turned white. I just don't know. Okay, okay, I lied about the boy's hair turning white. Oh dear, what's that? He shouldn't tell fibs. No, he should not tell fibs, he shouldn't lie. I'm sorry I lied, but you don't understand. You must stop what you are doing. Honest and Charlie, if you turn the page, I'll never speak to you again. Never, never. Please, Stinky, don't turn the page. What's that? You don't think we should turn the page? Well, Stinky, we have to, dear, if we want to find out what's going to happen in the story, won't we? Yes, we'll just have to be very careful. Well, there he is there, and he's still banging on about not turning the page. Oh dear, oh dear, something dreadful must have happened because he certainly is behaving like a pork chop, jumping up and down, screaming, do not turn this page. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen, I have to say, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> he says, well he's standing there, my dear Poppets, with his arms folded and he is very cross with Mrs. Wiffle Waffle because I keep reading on to see what's going to happen. He's not pleased at all. Yes, he's very, very cross. I think he'd be cross with whoever was reading this book. And there he is there again with his fist clenched, looking very, very angry indeed. Very, very angry. He is not happy at all. Not happy, not a happy chappy. And there he is walking off and on the other page he's so angry my dear Poppets that his face has turned bright red. Very very red indeed. Not happy at all. Oh, very very cross. Ah you turned again even after I gave you the silent treatment. Right I'm going to tell your parents exactly what you are doing. Unless you put this book down straight away, I mean it, Stinky. Please don't turn the page. Well, there he is there, my Poppets, extremely angry, and his face is bright red. He is not happy at all. I think this fellow needs a time out. He's getting awfully upset, very upset indeed, and I think he needs some quiet time. Yes, some quiet time to himself. Well, okay, I warned you. Now I'm calling your parents, Stinky. Mum, Dad, your child keeps turning the page and must be punished. Send them to their room. No dinner for a week. Oh, no dinner for a week, Stinky. Confiscate all books, including this one. Ha! See how you go turning the pages now. Well, there he is. He's got a me two megaphones as well, and he's saying, well, if you're not going to listen to me, I'm going to tell your parents, and all your books will be confiscated. Well, I think that's a bit extreme, but he certainly is very, very cross about it. Ah, I wonder what's going to happen, Stinky. Oh, good golly, you cannot be stopped. Please, please don't turn another page. See, I'm crying now. I'm begging. It's serious. If you get to the end of this book, I'm done for. I'll do anything you want. Gold. I'll get you gold. You want a flying car? I'll make one for you. Just please don't. What's that, Stinky? Turn the page. That's right. Don't turn the page. Well, he's quite beside himself now. He's even offering the reader some gold and a flying car anything he can think of to stop the reader from turning the page. Goodness gracious, what is going to happen? Right, seems like you can't be reasoned with, so go ahead, turn the next page, that's exactly what I want you to do. Oh, now he wants us to turn the page. Seriously, turn it. Well, there he is there. And it seems to me as though he's finally given up on the reader and he's saying, well, if you're that determined, then keep turning the pages till you get to the end of the story. What a strange fellow he is. No, I was trying to trick you, but it didn't work. You mustn't turn the last page. Something awful stinky will happen. 
You see, I once met a terrible witch who told me that if anyone made it to the last page of this book, she'd turn me into a frog. So please, please, please don't, Stinky, turn the page. What's that? Are we going to turn the page? Yes, we most certainly are. And there he is there, crying and begging on his knees to the reader not to turn the page because he'll be turned into a frog. I wonder if he really will be turned into a frog. Let's turn the page and see. And here we go, turning the page. Oh, and it says, thanks a lot. And he did, my dear Poppets. We turned the page and he got turned into a frog. Oh, well, it's not so bad being a frog. The end. And that was called Do Not Open This Book by Andy Lee. A very interesting and delightful book, I have to say. And I did enjoy reading this book very, very much. Well, how interesting, Stinky. After all of that, the reason he didn't want us to turn the page is because he got turned into a frog. Yes, what's that? Did he really get turned into a frog? Well, it's just a story, Stinky, but a very, very good one, I have to say. And Stinky, you know what time it is, don't you? That's right, and you said it, Bo. It's the end of story time, and time to say goodbye to the poppets. Well, my dear, dear poppets, boys and girls, mums and dads, I hope you enjoyed that book. I certainly enjoyed reading it. Perhaps you could read a book about not turning the pages, or perhaps you could pretend to be a frog and rip it and jump all over the place. And as always, my dear ones, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.